Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about vital shadows and how to master them. And the topic for this specific video is external shadows. You see, because there is you, right? Your personality, your being, your emotions, thoughts, your actions, and so on. And then there is what's happening around you. So when you are exposed to a shadow, that shadow can be inside of you or it can be outside of you. And the impact or the way you are going to deal with that shadow will depend a lot on where it's located and uh, how you can approach it. Sometimes the shadow is going, with, going to be synchronized. For instance, you are having a conversation with somebody and there is a charge in the air that neither you or the other person owns. You are just being touched by the same wave or the same shadow at the same time. And so what's going to happen is that your partner reacts to something and then you react and then before you know it, you're in a, in a big fight or lots of tension. So when you want to master the shadows, you have a whole set of tactics that, uh, that you will apply if the shadow is outside of you. Like you might be in a positive state of mind and then suddenly somebody wants to pick a fight. And uh, you notice that I'm talking a lot about relationships because <laughs> relationship is a very beautiful place to explore all these shadows, to check them out, to see how the dynamics happen, but you can see them in other contexts in life, for instance, in businesses, if you are going to work and, and so on. But let's check, for instance, if you have, for instance, a, a partner who tends to be extremely jealous, right? So their jealousy is their trigger. Suppose that you don't do anything wrong. Suppose that you're not doing anything to specifically trigger them or manipulate them or you're not lying, you're not cheating, you're not doing anything. Their jealousy is totally unjustified. So how you will respond to their jealousy projections will determine the outcome and how much fun you're having in your relationship. It means that you can consciously play with their emotions and decide what is the best tactic to respond to that jealousy projection in your system. It's a conscious response that you can send out. For instance, your partner might go like, you know what, I feel really insecure about that because you have been seeing your ex like three times this week and I, it makes me feel strange and I'm starting to have jealousy feelings. And so, for instance, a possible response would be, you should not get jealous about that. You know, you're being a child. Or it could be much more aggressive. It's like, you always get jealous over this stuff. Stop it. You know, that's a bit more aggressive. There is more tension building up. Or you could say, you know what? I understand you get jealous. I understand if I was in, your same, in the same position, I would also feel triggered a little bit. But I can reassure you, there is nothing going on between me and my ex. I have no intention to sleep with him or her. And uh, it's you I love, it's with you I want to be. So this is the strategy of reassuring your partner. So see, in, in these three possible tactics, you have to select which one is going to work and which one is going to bring you close to your partner. If you want to master the shadow and master this challenging emotion that your partner is having, you have to know that. You have to check it out. You have to consciously sit back and say, hang on, let's be wise here. Let's respond in a way that is going to create connection with my partner instead of creating division. If your goal is to stay with that person, of course. So you get the picture. You could take absolutely, you know, dozens and dozens of situations in relationships or in life and start checking what is the best tactic to respond to that given shadow. And once you have an overview of how to deal with the different shadows in your life and in other people's lives around you, then you can consider yourself a shadow master. It means that you reach a certain level of mastery when it comes to playing with shadow energies. You get that right. I'll see you soon.